Hello, would you like to learn how to personalize your umbrella with vinyl? I will show you, so stay tuned. Hello, my name is Charmaine and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are going to personalize an umbrella with permanent vinyl. I get my vinyl from 651vinyl.com and brilliantvinyl.com. And I'm going to show you a few umbrellas that I've did in the past right now. Now that we got that out the way, I'm going to use this, these items with these SVGs on the umbrella. I also did an umbrella for myself. I didn't put that on the, um, I didn't take a picture of it and I don't have it with me right now, but I, I did a purple and black umbrella for myself. This time I'm going to do a red and black umbrella. I sized my, uh, my um, images from measuring the umbrella. I got my umbrella, which I'll show you in a minute after I get set up. I got it from UmbrellaBazaar.com. But you can also get umbrellas from SarahGlove.com. And I've also bought an umbrella from Michaels. And, but I use a coupon, so it was like half off, 50% off, or whatever, 40% off. So you can use your coupons at Michaels. If not, if you don't use a coupon at Michaels, it's going to be kind of expensive. So when they have sales and coupons, you should use those and you can get you a nice umbrella. Okay, let me go ahead and... I'm in design space on Cricut. And usually when I do my umbrellas, I do a face and then I do a word under the face. Like a, um, I do something, I put like a phrase or something under, under the face. Then I do another, uh, I do another phrase or quote or whatever. And I, and I find shapes or different things to put on it to just to customize it, just to decorate a little bit. I've used stars. You can use circles. You can use anything you want. Hearts. And on the, the umbrella that I have is eight panels. So what I do is I put this on the same panel, these two things on the same panel. Then I put this on the opposite panel so it can match. You know, if, you, if it'd be the front panel, the back panel. And then I will put the circles on like two other panels. Okay. So I just want to explain a little bit to you about that. So basically, we're only going to be covering up four panels. And then you have four panels that's still free. Okay, so I'll show you that more when we get to the umbrella. Okay, so what I did already, I went ahead and got this from my files. This is the SVG. This is the SVG. I turned it to um the glasses to red. So if you want to know how to do change colors or whatever, just... um. Look at my other videos. I have more videos. I don't want to make this video too long because I, it's, it's a lot getting this vinyl on these umbrellas. Okay, so I changed the color to red. I already sized it. It's 6 by 6, well, 6.8 by 6.49. I said measure your umbrella so you can be able to figure out how you want to, um, how, how, it's size, how you want it sized. This wording is um 6.7 by 1.9. Then this phrase right here is 6.7 by 4.9. Okay, what I'm going to do now is... Let me see. Cause don't, and I try to find images that do not have that much layering in it. Because I do not like layering a lot. So this right here only has three layers. It, well, it'll be the glasses, the lips, and the, sun, and the glass. I'm sorry. It'll be the glasses, the earring, and the lips, and then the face. So that's not too bad. And then um, I'm going to make sure this is all cut together. And then this is cut together. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do my, my shapes. Okay, I already sized my, my circle from 3.9 by 3.9. And what I want to do now is duplicate it. So I'm going to go ahead up here on the top, right, duplicate it. And then I want to make, how many do I do? I'm going to do three. I'm gonna just do two because the umbrella I have right now was kind of small. 
So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna two to be dark black, that's like a gray color, and I want two to be red. Okay, so I'm gonna, then I, so now that I got my color, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this because I want two black ones. Duplicate it. And then I want two red ones. So I'm gonna duplicate that. Oh, sorry. So I just push duplicate. I'm trying to think that I want to put, yeah, th two would be enough because I don't want to, I don't want it to be too, too much going on here. And then what I do is I put a black and a red one on one side, on one panel, then I put a black and red on the other panel. So we got that all together. And let's go ahead and see how it looks when we make it. So now let's bring this down some. Have all the black on one, and then all the red on one. These are the glasses. This is the earring and the circle. You know, I'm gonna move this around the way I want them. You know what? I don't want this in here. This move don't have to really be in here because it's gonna be so hard to weld. So I'm gonna go back and cut this out. Can I get it off of here? Hi. So, okay, cool. I, I just learned that. I didn't know we could do that on, on, on the sheets. On the mats like that. Okay, so I got rid of that. We don't need that mood on there. And like I said, plus it's hard to um just getting the vinyl off to these umbrellas is not an easy task. So I'm trying to get all the small words. I do not want any small words on the umbrella. Oh, here's the earring. Now it looks like it's gonna cut this out because this oh no it's not. It's twelve by twelve. Okay, I'm tripping y'all. Okay, bring this down some. Okay, so this is all my red. So I only have two colors, which is good. The umbrella is so long. But I have a group called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And the ladies in my group, they voted, they wanted me to do a tutorial on how to put vinyl on an umbrella. So this one the vote. So I'm going to do this. But like I said, it's been a while since I've done an umbrella. So if you like to join our group, we do a lot of polls. We do a lot of t um, tutorials. I, well, I do a lot of tutorials. We help each other out. I do a lot of videos and post them on there. So please join us. It's called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket, and we're on Facebook. First, I need to let you know that you have to mirror the image because we put in the in, we put in the vinyl in, inside the umbrella. So make sure you mirror your image. Okay, I'm going to do that now. Then I'm going to go ahead and do this one too, so I won't forget. Mirror your image. So we're putting it inside. And now I'm going to go ahead and load my mat, cut it, and weed it out, and I'll be back. Okay, I have everything weeded out. This is the face. Make sure you mirror the image. Okay, and then my circles. Make sure you clean it off with alcohol. Because the alcohol will make it, will clean it and also help the vinyl to stick to the umbrella much better. This is the umbrella I got. Like I said, I, I told you I got it from earlier in the, in the beginning of the video. I think it was, um, and then what I need to do, see how this wobbles, the umbrella wobbles around. I need, we can place something on here so we can be able to keep it sturdy. My umbrella is very awkward item to design. So, uh, see if I can fix this so you can be able to see it. First thing I'm going to do, like I said, was go ahead and spray it. We'll do all of them right now so I won't forget because you want to make sure that you get all of them. And just wipe them on down with a clean rag. Okay, I think that was the last one. Okay, so they all dry. I'm going to spin it a little bit just to make sure they dry. Make sure it's dry. Okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this tape on here. I wish I had something else I can lay. Well, that's good. So lay the tape on here so we can be able to um, position it the way we want to. And on this first one, I'm going to put the, go ahead and get down, go ahead and do the face. Push it out so you can show some. If um, I already weeded everything out, because if I would have weeded 
this out right now, it would have been a long, long video. And I don't want this video to be hours, hours long. So I already weeded it. So I'm about to just go ahead and um scrape it a little bit. Let's see if you can make sure you can see it. What I'm doing here. Go ahead and scrape. Keep the vinyl. I'm gonna get this contact paper on here. I got my contact paper from the Dollar Tree. Of course, the best place to get it. Make sure you scrape it. I mean, you know, get it on your good so it won't so it can all go on your umbrella easily. And the alcohol will help. So, I already went on here and layered it. Did. I went ahead and um, put the red on top of the black so that the work because you cannot do it. You can't do that layering on here because it's gonna be in the inside of the umbrella. So you gotta layer it before you put it on the umbrella. So go ahead and do all your layering first. You get the big piece and you just layer the stuff on top of it. But be very careful because this sticky tape can really, when you're putting this on top of it, it can get really sticky and it can pull off the nose and the eyes. So just make sure you try to get the pieces you need and just cut it on the spot that you need it and not on the whole face because it will tear up. Like right here, you tell I messed up the ear a little bit because of this earring. And I put the earring on there and I layered it. So just be careful with that. You don't wanna you don't want this to tear off the, the um you don't want the the contact paper to tear off the face when you're layering. You understand what I mean after you try after you try to do it. It might be confusing right now but when you try to do it you'll see what I'm saying. See like right now I'm taking the Taking it off and it's coming off. You don't want it to do it when you put the when you um layer it. Okay, so be very careful with that. It can be very tricky. So like I said, I didn't layer the video. I didn't layer on the video because it's gonna take forever. But if you need me to do a video for just I mean weeding, I didn't weed it. But let me know if you need a video for just weeding and I can do that for you. I did, it, I did it the opposite way. So that's not going to work. I'm going to have to put the, um, even though see, I did it, I did it wrong. So what, even, it's, it's okay because I can still put this on the outside of the umbrella. You can put vinyl on the outside of the umbrella. What happened was, I did go ahead and layer it, and I should have layered it, took, took this off and then layered it like this on this side. This is the side I should have layered it on, and I didn't. Just like this. And I was too late. So, what I'm going to do is put this on the outside of the umbrella. And it doesn't matter because she's going to be cute on whatever side of the umbrella we put it on because of how she's made, how she is. Okay, so I'm going to put, put everything on. Hang on right here. I was going to put the grill on the outside of the umbrella, which would have been perfect, but I couldn't do that because the wording, all the words and stuff that I already cut and weeded out, they were mirrored. So they wouldn't have went right on the outside of the umbrella. So I'm going to have to just put her on the inside of the umbrella. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. Yes, I messed up. Learn from my mistakes. I'm not going to do this video over again. I'm not going to do this over. This is my umbrella, so it really won't matter. What I did was, this is my first time layering. My other videos I made with umbrellas, I didn't layer. I just did a simple black and white image and I put it on top on here, which I mirrored it, went on there and it was fine. But since I mirrored this, I, I mean, since I got this layered already, I messed the eyes up. These eyes are supposed to be on this side, okay? So what I'm gonna do is nothing. This is still gonna be pretty. This is gonna be cute still from the outside, but if you see the inside of my umbrella, you're gonna see these red eyes. It's still okay, it's a fashion statement. Oh well, I'm not doing it over. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here. So for, for basically, I'm not going. I'm just gonna have black eye, um, glasses with black lips. Will it still be? It still be cute, and I still have a little red earring. So I'm gonna place it up some because I'm gonna put the word "unbothered" right here, and she just doing. That's a statement that she's making. She's unbothered, <laughs> and she's still cute. Okay, well, I'm not about to be stressing over this umbrella. Like I said, it's my first time doing the layer. Yeah. I know what I did wrong, but I'm not wasting no more vinyl, hunty, because vinyl is expensive. Okay, so if you can see that, I just put that on the umbrella and screwed it up so I put it on the umbrella, put it in the position you want to put it on, and then you have to go ahead and scrape 
Get your little scraper tool. It's right here. And just scrape it gentle because it is thin. It is thin on material. I said, I'm not going to waste no vinyl. This tutorial will still help someone out. Yes, I made a goof, but it's still okay. You, you, at least you'll know the concept of how to do it. And be careful for the bubbles. Like I said, this umbrella is very, a very awkward item to do. It's not easy. I will be doing this on the floor, but since it's a video, I'm doing it on the table. Okay, what I got to do is hold this back. Hold it down the table and just pull. And, and pray that my ear. Uh, I'm gonna say, just pray that my ears don't come up, and they will. Like I said, this is not a easy product project, hunty. I'm letting you know right now, getting this vinyl off of this umbrella is not easy. And alcohol is supposed to help, but these little space, the little ears, the nose, and the mouth. You gonna you gonna see what I'm talking about when you try it. You are gonna see. I'm not trying to scare y'all. Go ahead and try it, but you are gonna see what I'm talking about. But make sure you get that 100. I think it's 91 percent alcohol, and it's still. Like these thin pieces, it, the, the big pieces is good. Like my circle's gonna be easy to do, but these faces, ooh wee, ain't no joke. But just like I said, I'm pinching it on my hand is in the way. So what I'm doing, I'm just taking it and just holding the loose pieces, pieces down, catching it with my fingernail, which I can still, I can use this tool right here. And try to hold it down, hold the vinyl down and, and pull, push and pull. Hold it down and pull, just holding it down. Like this and pull. I'm sorry, my hand gotta be in the way because I can't do it no other way. And I can't put the tripod the other way because umbrella's that way. <laughs> so it's just an awkward situation. It's just an awkward situation, ladies. Guys, whoever's watching, sorry. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm pulling, pulling. Slowly, that's all I'm doing is pulling. The contact paper, see these little thin, the little chin. Lord, let's pray. Please don't pull up my chin. This is what I don't want no lopsided chin. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I tried to do this video before it got dark. So I can post it on my um, well before it got too late. So I know my ladies on my group group is waiting on this. So like, ah, oh, I gotta get it done for them. Um, so see what we don't want to do. You don't want to go back over what you already start finished. So I'm trying to. Let's see how I got this pull. So she's unbothering. She's making a statement because she's gonna be reading the inside. Like I said, I'm not doing this video over. Yeah, and get the concept of how to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all that I'm, I'm gonna show y'all the whole thing because it's gonna make the video long. Be getting this contact paper off of here, but I want to show you. I want you to see how it is. <laughs> I want you to see how it, it is getting this stuff together. Yes, it's going, it's going, it's going. Come on now, come on, come on, nose. You gotta pray when we're dealing with this vinyl girl. There we go. It's like doing surgery. Okay, so get your little tool and scrape it on off. Try not to hit. Take your fingers, slap it on back down. Okay. Be careful for the nose. Like if you see some of these SVGs on here, girl, you'll jack a face up in a minute. You'll lose a nose. A lot of people, shoot, a lot of people lose noses and they just leave them noses off because it's crazy how, how, it, how it is. The struggle is real. Yay! Thank you, Jesus. It's on there. It's on there. She making a statement with her red on the inside. But I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look right now before I finish it. But so when I'm out keep chilling with my umbrella, it's gonna look like this. You gonna be able to see because of white. I'm gonna put a white paper back there. But so she at least she got her little red earring. Okay. I got the unbother um, off, ready to go. Put it right under her. About right. Mm. right there, so that red is even knock her out. Let's see. Okay.
Okay, yes, we got a piece to come up. Good. Once you get that first piece, should be good to go. But like I said, vinyl on top of vinyl. So yeah, your words supposed to look backwards when you're putting it on because it's mirrored. Okay. Just like I said, I'm just holding on to the letters. I'm showing y'all. It's going to be a little long because I'm showing y'all exactly the whole process of this umbrella. Please, if you like the content of this video, please subscribe, like, share with, your, share with a friend, share it. And also hit that um, bell. You can be notified when I make new videos. I make new videos <laughs> a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the, uh, the back of this, uh, of her face, the same, you know, the different panel right behind her. You know, I'm, I'm gonna show you. This, that one right there is the one I just did. So I'm gonna go down to one right behind her and do this. I usually put a face on this side, the face is on there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a phrase right here. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. So I already got the um contact paper on here. Go ahead and scratch it out. I always say scratch it. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna show you when I'm done. It didn't take too long. So what I did was I made, even when it rains, I made that red. And I see I forgot to weed out something. Did I? Oh no, that's fine. I'm going to put our slay black. So I'm going to put, make sure I put this here. I want to put this upside down. So I'll put that right here. So I'll make sure I have enough space for that. And I'm ready to put it down. I'm going to put our slay right here. I mean, I'll put this right here. Right in the middle. Perfect. Then when I'm finished with this, Contact paper, I'm gonna use this contact paper for this. Cause you can double up in your contact paper. You don't have to use, keep on using different kinds. You can reuse it. Especially when you're doing this project right here. Like when I just did her face, I'm gonna hold that contact paper I use for her face for the bubbles. I mean for the bubbles, for the circles that I'm gonna be using. So you don't have to throw it away. You can reuse contact paper. Even though it's a dollar, but still. Okay, there it is. It took me a good three minutes, maybe three minutes to get that down. So, yes. So now I got I slay. And I'm about to go ahead and put that on here. At all, because these are big letters. So when the bigger letters, the bigger the letters, the better. <laughs> the bigger the project, I mean, the bigger the image is better to, you know, it's, it's easy to get off. Let's see how it's gonna be to get how it's gonna. Let me, can we cut this? Cause I don't want it too close to the. I don't want my the contact paper to touch my other vinyl. So I'm going to cut this short, cause I want this word to be close. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut this off. So I want this to be close to that, but I don't want to. You, you shouldn't have to touch the vinyl because it, it can peel it off. And you don't want to do that, cause you did a lot of hard work putting it on. Now it's even. Just like I said, if I wasn't doing this video, I would be on the floor doing this umbrella. And also, if you just if you're watching this video just because you want to see these um items being made, but you still like to support and like to buy images, you know, buy products from other people, check out my boutique. I have a boutique called Charming Gal Boutique. And it, I had a store, but I closed it because it was just too much. Over here, so now I'm just doing everything online. So it's www.charminggalboutique.com. I have all kind of personalized items on there that I can personalize for you, and it's, I love doing it. Oh, okay. See, that wasn't too bad. Like this right here was easy compared to these letters right here. They were hard to get. Um, contact paper off of it because they're so skinny and thin. Okay, but these big ones, it's good to do thick fonts when you're messing with the umbrellas. When you're messing with the umbrellas. <laughs> when you're designing the umbrellas. Okay, so that's done. 
Okay, ladies, let's get these circles on here and we'll be done. Like I said, the bubble, the circles are big, so they're not hard at all. They should, this should be an easy task to get these on here. So what I'm gonna do is just place it wherever I want. I'm gonna put one down here at the bottom, then I'm gonna put one at the top. So this is the, where I want it. Go ahead and press it on here. I'm gonna use the same contact paper for all the bubbles. Easy fix. Okay. Look at that. Oh, my hands anyway. But I get behind the camera. I use my brain today. Okay. See? Easy. Now that was easy compared to the words and everything else that I did today. The face. Let's go ahead and put a black one on here. Do the best way to do it to not get the bubbles you folded like this. Like a sandwich, and then you put it in the middle and let it drop. And that should help. But you did. And if you do get bubble, bubble, a trick, a trick that I do, go ahead and scrape it a little bit. Sorry, I know the noise is kind of loud. Now just get the little, squeak the little thing and poke it. And rub the bubbles out. So you want to rub up them bubbles being in your arm, brother. Because bubbles, I mean, vinyl type of vinyl on top of vinyl can really get cause a lot of bubbles. So let's see, this should peel right off. Yes, I love it when it's easy to do. So let me pull this up some. I'm gonna put this one right on the side as high as I want it. Probably right there. It's good for me. Go ahead and scrape the. Just try to do the edges so you can just pull it right off. We go to the next one. And I'm not gonna show you doing the rest of the other one because this is the same thing I'm gonna do for the other two bubbles that I have, the other two circles that I have. I don't want this video to be too long. See, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you how I'll take this off though. Get behind the camera. I'm gonna get it right, y'all. I'm gonna get it right. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna take it. Maybe I lied to y'all. The other, the red one went on super easy. There you go. Oh, that one bad. Voila. So I'm going to do the other one. With the, I have two more circles to do, red and black. Then I'll show you the results. Hey, ladies. Here's the final project. Here's the outcome. Like I said, I, the, um, her, her red earrings on the other side. But it's okay. It's pretty like this. The red don't bother even the color out. So she would have been cute with red lips and red glasses. But... It's cool. It's, she's still cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go around. I have two bubbles right here. I wasn't even gonna call it bubbles. Um, circles. You cannot stop all the bubbles inside the image. You can't, there's just no way. I mean, it, it's you can find ways to do it. Clean it a little better. This one came out okay. But um, you have little bubbles in the image with these vinyl type of vinyl and there's the even when it rains i slay i love it i love it then some more bubbles some more circles with bubbles in them but it's gonna be cool and what i might do i can probably fix a little bit um get the little scraper i have and, and scrape my little the bubbles out a little bit just probably that big one right there i can't fix i will fix those i didn't notice it until i just seen it so i will fix those too okay and then, like, ladies, I didn't know it had a line. Each panel has a line right in the middle of the umbrella. So now she has a line in her face. But I didn't even notice that. But it's still cute. It's cool. So there we have it. If you like this video, please subscribe, like I said earlier. And please join my group, Brown Girl Craft with Cricket. And check out my website, charminggirlboutique.com. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, keep your umbrella open for a few hours. If you can, just keep it over, over keep it open overnight so the vinyl can just breathe and just relax so it won't be all bought up. Thanks for watching.